I've had people ask on how to uh, change the digitization method to make it easier for them to see where to digitize. Um, and one of the methods uh, that is available is you can switch from the auto digitizing method, which it, it show, which is set by default, to the manual uh, method, which is going to allow you to uh, pan and zoom and manually move the image. And let me show you that. When it's on manual, if we go in, we're going to do a, a patient exam. I'm going to go to Tim, and I started a screening already. I'm just going to pull in an image that already exists. So let's go ahead and we'll pull in the same image. I'm going to pull in this one where we're using a green screen for some photography with Tim standing crooked. And, and we'll pan and zoom this one a little more. There we go. Now, the difference is on this one, what we can do is we can zoom in and it's going to stay like that. And then I can go ahead and come in this way and then I can come in here. Notice it's going to stay zoomed in. So that way, if you had a hard time seeing what the anatomical landmarks, it would be able to do it. Now, notice it doesn't jump down now. So what you would do is you would take two fingers and pan up. Okay, can you see how we would do that? And we pan up. Okay, but this allows it to stay magnified in the regions that you want to work on. Okay, and the same thing if we go into the next... I can pan and zoom, make it large, come in here, here, take two fingers and pan up, here, pan up, here, and drag this down a little bit, and pan up. Now, obviously, this method is significantly slower when digitizing, but it allows you more control over the size of the image, okay? And that's the manual method of digitization, and I know you're going to like that option. Okay, for more information, please browse to postureanalysis.com or email us at info at postureco, that's postureco.com. Thanks.